Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here for Five to Go. We are in Silver Creek, Washington at the Paradise RV Resort. It's run by a Thousand Trails. And Thousand Trails is what we're here to talk to you about today. Uh, some people ask us a lot about why we move so quickly and how we find our spots that we go to and all that. And Thousand Trails is part of the reason, especially here on the West Coast. don't know what Thousand Trails is when we say that. It's kind of like a vacation club. We bought a membership and we're able to get into quite a few different RV parks um, without paying a nightly fee. So we bought a zone pass and then added a couple other zones. There's five zones in the United States. We bought the one that covers California, the one that covers Washington, Oregon, Idaho, I think, and then we got New England for later on this year. We move so often because the terms of our membership has a thing so we can stay for four nights and then we have to be, um, then we have to move. If we stay more than four nights, then we have to be out of the system for seven days. One of the good things about Thousand Trails and one of the not so good things about Thousand Trails is a lot of like like when we wanted to go to Disneyland we stayed about an hour and a half outside of Disneyland because that was the closest one. When we were in Northern California and we wanted to go to San Francisco kind of the closest one that we could go to was two hours away so we drove into the city and stayed in the city um, in a hotel or a hostel actually. The way that I, I plan our route up through this area is just seeing where the Thousand Trails are and if they're close enough for a day drive to the things that we want to try and do. So then we book those on through their online booking tool that they have, which is really great because a lot of campgrounds, you can't book online. Like you can't do reservations online, you have to call or you have to do a um, like a contact form on their website and then they call you back and who wants to do that? All of you campgrounds, you should get a website and some type of <laughs> online reservations. But with Thousand Trails, I'm able to go in and manipulate our travels very easily. I can cancel things, I can add extra days, I can take days off, I can switch campgrounds around. And so that has been very helpful to us when we've had to kind of redo our route. I can just go in and cancel and grab new ones um, see what's available and if there aren't availabilities then I just keep checking the website and then something will pop up and then we're able to get into a place where we really wanted to be. We just got into Washington and I think we're staying at almost all of the thousand trails in Washington State because we're going up the coast to Vancouver and then we're going to come back down um, and then head out into the middle so we'll see how everything goes but we're staying at quite a few of them. One of the things that I like the most about Thousand Trails is the price. We got a zone pass and then added two other zones and they were running a sale at the time so it was a little under 600 bucks. We've stayed in Thousand Trails for uh, I think 60 nights by the time we leave here and then by the time we leave Washington State we'll be over 100 nights easy. So that's less than six dollars a night for full hookups, pools, clubhouses, playgrounds, the whole nine. It's been fantastic. There's only been one campground we've been to that didn't have sewer and that's because they were having to redo all of it. So they normally have sewer but just didn't when we were there. Now speaking as the guy who drives the RV around, uh, Thousand Trails is a little different from other RV campgrounds that we've stayed at other resorts like KOAs and privately owned uh, resorts where when you get to most of the Thousand Trails you don't have a site assigned to you. They just welcome you with the thing, check your registration and all that and then they just say go find a site and then let us know where you stopped. So that's very different and I like it and I don't at the same time. Uh, when you go to a campground that has site reservations, you have to tell them what length your rig is, whether you have slides, what kind of power requirements and all that. And they know their campground. They know how long all of their sites are and they pick a site for you, tell you to go to it. And I'd say 95% of the time, it's been pretty good. You know, sometimes you won't have as many trees or too many trees or might be really far from the playground and stuff like that, but it's worked out pretty well. Mm -hmm. With Thousand Trails having to pick your own spot, that can work really well if it's basically <laughs> empty right. or it can be really bad where like the place we were before at Seaside, there were four four sites open that we could fit in. So we were very limited on our choice. We ended up with a pretty good one, mm -hmm. 
but again, it could have been bad. Also, compared to other campgrounds, the um, Thousand Trails, they tend to be pretty well laid out. They have really nice maps, very accurate maps, yeah. and uh, they always have, you know, 30 amps, 50 amps, sewer, water, which ones are tent sites, which ones are cabins. Those are very well marked on their maps. And another really nice thing is a lot of the private resorts, uh, either the websites are lacking, shall we say, um, the Thousand Trails ones, they all have maps, they all have amenities, so you can go to the website for the Thousand Trails campground that you're going to next, you can look at the entire map, mm -hmm. kind of get a lay of the land before you go there, and that helps a lot. Especially since we have to pick our own spots. <laughs> right, right, right. So do we think the Thousand Trails is worth it? Absolutely. For people like us. Um, if we were only going out for like a week or two a year, I think it's pretty expensive unless you live in an expensive area like we've we've really enjoyed using it on the west coast because all of the parks that we came across in california were super expensive but thousand trails were staying at them for basically free or you know that 600 divided by how many nights we're using it we really 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 like it we've enjoyed it a lot it has enabled us to move at a pace that we enjoy and also at a price that we can afford it, look into it if you're interested in it. There are elite memberships which are, which are much more expensive and have a lot more perks and fewer time restrictions and you can stay in them longer and all of that. I don't think we'll ever get one of those, but the Zone Pass for us has been amazing and we have really, really enjoyed how many there are here on the West Coast. And then once we get out back east, there are a ton over there too. Um, we're going to run into kind of a big empty spot in the middle of the country, you know, once we once we start heading east from here, we're going to run out of Thousand Trails parks. So we're going to have to, uh, I think we're actually going to look into boondocking. So we're going to look into some better batteries, maybe a solar panel or two, a generator or something like that. Still figuring that out. So uh, stay tuned for all of that. Make sure to hit subscribe if you like what we're doing. Hit like on this video if you like this video. And uh, stay tuned. Enjoy the ride.